In this video, I'm gonna make a button that spawns a vehicle. So let's say I'm escaping prison. Oh no, there's no vehicle. I'm probably gonna get caught. Oh, look at that, call Jeep. I hit the button, boom, I called a Jeep. And I didn't put a limit on how many Jeeps I can call. So I can always call a Jeep, right? You could do that if you want. But for this video, I just thought it'd be cool. Hit a button, spawn a Jeep, spawn a vehicle. You can spawn any vehicle, but test it first to see if it works. So let's go to a fresh world and see how that's done. So I'm gonna to go to starter GUI to make my button first. So starter GUI, screen GUI, text button. I'm gonna call this call Jeep button. Cool. And I'll go ahead and move it in place. You can move it to wherever you want. I'll just move it there. And I'll change the font to like bangers or something. I like that font. And then let's go ahead and change the text to call Jeep or call car, call Camaro, whatever you whatever you want. Text scaled, boom, make it a little bigger. And let's add a local script to our button. Hit the plus sign, local script. Now remember, this is running locally for you. We're gonna call this spawn Jeep LOC. So I know that it's my local script we need to spawn on the server side. So in order to spawn on the server side, you really need a remote event. And remote events are great. Uh, it's great to put a remote event in uh, replicated storage, right? Replicated storage, remote event. This is the doorway between the client and the server. Jeep RE, right? RE for remote event. So let's call that. Let's call this and then we can talk to the server. All right, so on my spawn Jeep loc, which is on my button, I am going to get a reference to the button, script.parent. Then I'm going to get a reference to replicated storage. I'm going to call that RS. I can make this bigger. There we go. RS, game, get service, replicated storage. Then I need my remote event. RS for replicated storage, wait for child, Jeep RE. This Jeep RE must be spelt the same as the one that is in replicated storage or you'll get an infinite yield error, right? So now that we did that, let's make a function and we'll call that call Jeep, right? And then we're gonna get the remote event and we're going to fire server. I don't have to pass anything in there. Right, we're just gonna fire that server event. It's gonna say, hey, make a Jeep. All right, so we'll get our button, BTN, activated event, connect that to call Jeep, and we're gonna be good to go. All right, so these two lines must be on the server side too, so that we can get the replicated storage and then get our remote event on the server side. Remember, it's a doorway, you have to see it from both sides. So let's go to server script service, hit the plus sign, add a script, and we're gonna call this uh, spawn Jeep, and it would be the server side, so I'm just gonna say spawn Jeep. See, there's no. this is a regular script. That is considered a server script. If it's got like a little person on it, that's the local script. So we're on our server script, spawn Jeep. Let's go ahead and paste those two lines of code we got from our other script so we can complete our doorway. And let's go ahead and get a reference to server storage. That's where our Jeep is gonna be. But, oh man, we don't have a Jeep yet. Let's go to the base plate, go to the toolbox, and we'll do Jeep. There's lots of working Jeeps in here because it is a free Roblox model. People just upload them. And I already checked that one, it does work. Check any vehicle to see if it works before you start doing your spawning and your games and stuff. All right, now drag that down into server storage. Cool. Now we'll go back to our spawn Jeep, or you can get it right here under server script service if you lost it. Now we'll do our game get service, server storage. That's giving me a reference to my server storage. We're gonna get a Jeep, I'm gonna call that Jeep template because I'm gonna clone that. I wanna clone it many, many times, right? As many times as I want. Server storage, wait for child, 
Jeep. So this name, Jeep, must be spelled the same as what's in server storage, Jeep. Cool. What else should we do? Let's go ahead. I am going to get my remote event. I'm going to do an anonymous function. So I'll do this on server event, connect that event. So when someone hit the button, this is going to be called because we did our fire server. Then I'll say function player. I need my character because I need the position of the character. I want to put the Jeep right in front of the character. So let's say local char player, whoops, player character or player dot character added wait just in case it's not ready. Let's move that in a little bit so we can see everything. Cool. Then once I get my character, I can get my humanoid root part. That's got all my position stuff on it. So I'll say chr wait for child humanoid root part. And the humanoid root part has, uh, like I said, position and orientation from the C frame. And also we can just get the position right from the HRP, right? Position. But I want to move the Jeep up a little bit so it kind of bounces down on the ground. So I'm going to say vector three, new, zero, three, and zero. This Y axis is going to just move this position up by three studs. So we get that little drop down effect when we hit our button. Now, let me go ahead and clone the Jeep from the Jeep template. Clone. And then, we, oh, you know what we have to do? <laughs> You're not going to see your Jeep if you don't make the parent something in the workspace. I'm just going to make it the workspace. All right. Now, let's move our Jeep. We'll say Jeep. That's a colon, move to, um, we have our position, but let's put it in front of us a little bit. So we'll say HRP C frame, look vector. And a look vector is a unit vector. It's of stud one. So we are going to say 20 studs in front of us. Cool. Just to make sure though, because now we're actually doing this move to, let's go to our Jeep and check to see if the primary part is defined. So it's not, right? If I click right here to the right of primary part, I can open this up. I think I'm gonna make my engine block the primary part just so that we know what we're moving, right? So this is gonna, that's gonna be the primary part. I think we're good. What else do we need to do? Um, let's try it. There it is. Whew, that was easy. All right. Cool. And now what I did is I made this invisible until I hit a part. Use the remote event to make it visible. I have videos on that too. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. We can spawn some Jeeps. We can make a whole bunch of Jeeps. And good luck with that. And I'll see you in the next video.